Eunice, Eunice, how you feeling, dear? You doing okay? Very good. Eunice has had some of the relaxing medicine, so she's feeling very comfortable. You see her neck and jawline. Can you remove the gauze? See how sharp the jawline is there, and this is where we started. So we did the platysmoplasty. Now we are doing the preauricular smash plication tightening. So thank you all for watching, and my team has everything set up perfectly. Ari's here with me. Thank Hello, thank you for watching, Evelyn and Kale, Gail and uh, Marta. We're also on YouTube. Make sure you are liking and sharing because we promise you, you know people, hello, Nina, that are in your life that are interested in having something done, and we're here to show you the right way to do things. It's much safer to do face up under local anesthesia, and it's safe to do all of our cosmetic treatments with, uh, as far as there's no contraindication for the COVID vaccine. So I've had the vaccine myself. Eunice has had the vaccine. We've done the numbing medicine with the Trimestic Solution. I've done over 4,000 facelifts under local anesthesia. Hello, thanks for watching. Hello from Connecticut. Hello, Sandy and Linda and Mason. Thank you all for watching. So I used the 15 and right in the hairline, this is a hair sparing incision. So right through this area and this fades and heals very nicely. So Eunice, if you feel any tension, you let me know. Everything's looking good. Perfect. Very good. Hello, thanks for watching. Hello, Maribel. Hello, Stephanie. We're in Tampa and the Villages, Florida. Let us know if you have questions. When we do the lift, this is the safest way to do a facelifting procedure. Risk of bleeding or fluid collection. You can see right here that bleeding is really not an issue. We can handle all that in the office. Infection, we put you on an antibiotic. That's not been a problem. These are my patients that are on diabetic medicines, insulin. You can still do the lift. They may have a higher risk of infection, a risk of damage to surrounding structures. The lift is designed to stay more superficial to avoid that. That's not been a problem in my patients. Everybody has facial asymmetry before and after. That's what makes us look natural. Sometimes a deep stitch can come out of the skin like a splinter. If that happens, that's easy to take care of. The ears can be numb after you do a lift. When the nerves grow back, you might feel itching, tingling, soreness, or pain. Most people would just say if they feel numb, it's getting better, they don't notice it, and then it just goes away. And then the risk that somebody has to go to a hospital, have a heart attack, or stroke is rare. This is the safest way to do the treatment. Safer than IV sedation, safer than general anesthesia. Everything's looking good. And a little bit of bipolar pottery. Thank you for watching. Hello, Blanca. Hello, Sandra. So just a little bit of pottery. Do you feel any tension there, Eunice? Everything's looking good. Little pinch there, so I'm going to do a little numbing medicine. This is a 30 gauge, very tiny, a little bit of numbing. Mm 
machen will. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of numbing medicine. Everything is looking good. Thank you for watching, Lewis. What is this? The face lift under local anesthesia. A little bit of numbing medicine there. So this is, how are, Eunice, how are you feeling, dear? Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you feeling any pain at all? Uh, not pain, more pressure. Pressure is normal. It's a little sticky, a little too How about right now, are you feeling any pain? No. Are we totally free? No. So if, if Eunice feels a pinch, then I'll do some numbing medicine, and then she should feel nothing. So, Hans face with sister Fizzard. Hello, Charlene. Hello, Octavia. And hello, Silva. Everything's looking good. So where I've already used the laser, it's a little easier for me to elevate the skin. This is subcutaneous. Perfect. What do you do? You lift up behind that big well, ear. Once I lift the skin, I'm going to tighten the muscle layer. Yeah. And then we turn away the extra skin and very, well, very tiny little stitches to close the incisions. Do the stitches have to come out or will they dissolve? The dissolvable stitches on the surface, they just fall away. The deeper, some, a few of the deeper stitches are permanent. They usually just get covered in scar tissue and then you never hear from them again. Sometimes they can surface like a splinter, but that's easy to take care of. Very good. Retraction, counter-traction. Bipolar pottery. Are you getting much bleeding? Minimal. You'll see on the video when you watch it, I mean, there's very little. But I like to just be meticulous and cover every little bit. And Little pinch there? No, I'm just moving.
Everything's looking good. Hello, Magales. Hello, Nancy. This is a facelift under local anesthesia. I've done over 4,000 facelifts under local anesthesia. And Eunice is 69 years young, and we're honored to be a part of this with her. People today are living a lot longer, they're looking a lot better, and they want to look and feel their best. So now I'm using the 2-0, oh, hello, thanks for watching, Liza. This is a 2-0 oh, Ethibon suture, SMAS, modified SMAS glycation. This is a very effective way to tighten that face musculature. SMASH layer stands for subcutaneous musculoaponeurotic system. Perfect. And then, once you tighten the SMAS, it's really not going to need that much, but I'll do an additional bolster feature over here. Perfect. And then I do a 2 -0 vital in the preauricular area. Can you um, close one, please? Mm -hmm. Hello, Yolanda. Yeah, I hear you, Margala. Some people say they don't want to be awake, but Eunice doesn't know what we're doing. She can't tell. She can't feel it. Are you feeling any pain at all, Eunice? No, but I kind of know what you're doing. She knows what I'm doing. She's a nurse, right? Yeah. And she knows I'm doing some stitching in this area. But she can't feel it. She'll feel yeah. pressure, but feels no pain. And she's watched some of our videos. She's going to watch her own video. That's great. Try to get my husband to watch it. Uh -huh. He's a pulmonologist. He's a pulmonologist, but he doesn't like me. Oh well, that's <laughs> understood. That's right. He doesn't even know what I'm like to hear my knees creak. Everything's looking good. So you see all the extra skin there. Thank you, Yesenia. Mm -hmm. We have all phone numbers and everything in her driver. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Can you put in the schedule? What's your phone number? The phone number in the schedule. Okay. So now, measure twice, cut once, and you see the extra here. So we're just trimming.
a little bit of bipolar pottery. We will be rebroadcasting in a little bit, so make sure you're following. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sharing. Hello, Mary. Hello, Griselda. And Marcella. So, as you can see, there's very little bleeding. Almost none, really. Uh, to a vital. And so, the best way to minimize a scar is to get the wound edges as close together as possible. So, what I do is, I do this deep suture that brings the wound edges together. In fact, with the deep suture, sometimes you don't even need superficial stitches on top, but we're going to put them belt and suspenders. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. We're recreating the tragus here. You want to preserve that anatomical structure. Hello, Marie. Hello, Terry. And hello, Mary. Hello, Sapphire. Hello, Ivy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. So now we're recreating that tragal anatomy, just trimming some of this extra skin here. The tragus helps to camouflage that you had a face with incision. So some faces, people take the tragus away 100%, which is not ideal. It's not recommended. Now 5-0 comic. And this is about 2 to 3 millimeters from the edge of the skin to the other edge of the skin, and I separate each stitch by about anywhere from two to four millimeters, depending on the angle. I must have thrown about a million stitches in my career. You get the hang of it after a few hundred thousand. Hello, Vicki. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. We're in Tampa and the Villages, Florida. I'm Dr. Rich Castellano, double board certified facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. You can download our Wall Street Journal best-selling book. We guarantee you can make you look younger or, and or the smile prescription. 
So the question is, is have you gone online to research plastic surgery procedures? Eunice, how are you feeling, dear? Good. Everything's looking good. If you go online and research, the, the likelihood is you will be confused. That's why we just like to show you, look, this is the procedure. We're going to show you her result. You'll see her before picture. You'll see her right now. And then when we see Eunice back, we'll show you her before and after so you can see the result. And then Eunice can come to one of our seminars and be a model. And everyone, she'll be a celebrity. Everyone will say, you look so good. How was it for you? Eunice, how long have you been thinking about having something done for? No, about five years. What was holding you back? Yeah, um, fear. <laughs> Apprehension. So, I'm so glad we were able to make you comfortable. What was it that ultimately made you say, okay, I feel comfortable now? Was it watching the videos or coming to our console? What was it that made you feel comfortable? It was working through my mind. Working it through your mind. You just had to get through it. Yep. Had to weigh out the pros and cons. Well, you certainly got a lot of pros here, that's for sure. Mm Everything's looking good. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Najat. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your kind words. Give us a call, 813-463-9245. Set up your consult. Come to our seminar. We have people that fly in from all across the country and even internationally. Travel is picking up again. I've had my vaccine. Thank goodness, infections are going down. The world is reopening. Laura has been open. Okay, so last little stitch here, and then I'm going to show you her pictures. So happy. Okay, so look at that neckline and jawline. Eunice has the neckline of a 30-year-old, and you see how sharp that is. Hello, Viviana. Hello, Virginia and Ina. And so here are her pictures. Look at her jawline now, how sharp it is, and look at her jawline before. Big improvement from before, but we're not done yet because we're going to do the other side because you wanted to do both sides, and we're going to do that. How do you feel about the vertical, how do you do the vertical facelift? So this facelift has a vertical component to it. And so that is incorporated in both the vertical and horizontal vectors. Thank you all for watching. More videos coming soon. We'll see you later. Just a few moments, we'll be starting the other side. Bye-bye.